Happy Friday, guys. Wow. Um, what a week. And to be completely honest, this is going to be really short because I'm sure many of you are feeling just like me and just not wanting to do anything. Um, this isn't going to be a political a political message at all, but um, I think a lot of us, especially a lot of the uh, the ones who have already opened and who have been doing this for a few years, it's it it's almost impossible to not feel burnt out at some point or another in our careers, and with the recent events that have just happened, it's it just. I don't know about you guys, but my anxiety this week has been at an all-time high. And I the only reason why I'm doing this is because I told myself that I would do this every week. Um, but like you you drive to work and you honestly you just don't even want to get out of the car. And you don't want to have to deal with All the all the shit that you have to deal with so uh, dealing with burnout um, I've this week especially has been um, just a shit show of not just current events but things breaking down in the office of technology um, not working um, needing to replace things that are only four and a half years old and um such a debbie down <laughs> such a debbie downer live guys i'm sorry um i'm really happy that we have monday off for memorial day and it it just puts into perspective like the things that we take for granted um, I just, I recorded a podcast yesterday about, uh, one of, one of the things that doctors don't really talk about. And it, a lot of that was just the mental health component of owning a practice. And this particular doctor talked about the weeks where you struggle to pay your, your, um, your team. Um, and um, I don't think that stuff gets talked about enough. I really don't and and I think it's it's a disservice like I think everybody who you see on social media it's it's very easy to paint a picture of always like killing it and getting like a hundred new patients through the doors and um, and all of the things that are going right in your practices but it is um, it's not always the case and the things that people are ashamed or embarrassed to talk about are the things that need to be talked about the most and um, and burnout it is very common regardless of whether we're just starting out whether we are um, we're faking it until we make it Clarissa um, so good to see you um, I think we're all faking it till we make it quite honestly I think it's even if you get to whatever point in your career where you where you try to get to as soon as you get that mark a lot of us don't even stop and really celebrate that and and then we we push that mark further and further out and I know I'm guilty of it so um, in the beginning of my career, in the beginning of our office opening, it was always, 
how many more patients can we get in? How many this, how many that? What's the production going to look like this week? Um, and nowadays it's, I feel very fortunate that I have, I have doctors who, um, who help to see that the patients because it's hard. Dentistry is hard and I don't, I don't want to be doing bread and butter dentistry all day, every day. Like my neck hurts, my back hurts. Um, and I had a call with someone recently about like, oh, what, um, what like is your collections or what's your production goal? And my goal these days is to focus on my, my happiness. And whether that means focusing on eating better, on sleeping, on seeing a therapist, which um, I think many of us, like in this, this, the state of the world today, many of us, everybody needs a therapist, quite honestly. It's, um, yeah. But burnout is real, guys. If you struggle with with finding joy and happiness, if you go home and you don't have anything left to give your your family at the end of a day, if all you're thinking about is your bank account, your production, your new patients, um, you are going to burn out a lot faster than you would expect to. So um, take a moment and really like, be present with your family this weekend. I hope you guys are are taking some time for yourselves. I hope you're getting massages. I hope you are reading a book, not to figure out systems or leadership, but just read a book because you enjoy the story. Um, and that is it for today. Um, sorry to be a Debbie Downer this week. I. Yeah, reach out to, to any one of us in, in the group. Um, I really, I hope that you are finding others in this, in this awesome tribe to connect with. Whatever, whatever part of, of the process you're in, find someone who can, who can bounce, who you can bounce ideas off of. And I'm hoping that next week we actually have more of, um, I'll have, hopefully I'll have someone who will talk about their startup and, and I'll give you more information about what's happening at Smile & Co. And Colin, thank you for being here always. Um, yeah, so hug your loved ones, guys. Um, and have a fabulous Memorial Day weekend. And I will see you guys next Friday. And um, thanks for tuning in. Take care.